Good Hi, morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. That's nice. How was your weekend? Nice. I rest a lot of time. <laughs> oh, really? You didn't have yes. to work the weekend? No, no, we don't. We don't work. All right, that's nice. So you had a holiday. Yes. All right. Do you usually work on the weekends? It depends. If it's necessary, yes, mm -hmm. but if no. All right, I see. That's interesting. Very good. Very good. We're gonna wait for your classmates for like one more minute, and then we'll begin. Okay. Okay. Hi, Claudia. Can you hear me, Claudia? Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine. That's nice. How was your weekend? Uh, very relaxed. Oh, that's nice. Very good. That's good to know. <laughs> A long weekend. A long weekend, I know, eh? Very good. Yeah. All right, very good guys. So we're gonna begin. So uh, last Friday, we met each other because it was like the, that meeting that with, we had with Elena, all right? So, but you guys were, I mean, Exa spoke a little bit and some other people did too, but they did in Spanish. And I wanna hear your English, all right? So. Uh, Exa, do you mind introducing yourself in English and telling me like a little bit about yourself, please? Okay, well, my name is Osman Nixabudo Leon. Uh, I'm 30 years old. Okay. I am Java programmer in Bae. And well, I'm here to learn all that I can. Excellent, very good, thank you. Very good. Claudia, what about yourself? Well, my name is Claudia Eliana. Mm -hmm. I am an accountant and I am an analyst. Favorite? Okay. Favorite analyst. Yeah, favorite analyst, yes. <laughs> favorite analyst and I'm 33. All right, very good. So how long have you guys been working at this company for? Any of you? How so, long have you been working at this company uh, for? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in five signs. Uh, twenty since since uh, mm -hmm. 20, 2019. 2019? Yes. So just a year. January. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. Um, All right. Almost, like, two. Uh, almost two years. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Eh? <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> be January soon. All right. What about Exa? Yeah. Uh, two years and one month. All right, so you're almost like the same date of uh, yes. starting date. Oh, okay, that's interesting. All right, very good. I see. Well, I've been working at Inglés Corporativo for the past four years. All right, and I have, like I said on Friday, I've been teaching since I was 19. So I've been teaching for 23 years to all levels, all right? So, but the level I really enjoy is university level, to teach at the licenciaturas and profesorados, right? So I work at uh, Pedagogica, I work at UCA, and I work at Evangelica, so it's like, I keep myself busy and teaching all the time, all right? So that's quite fun. Just that for you to know a little bit about me. All right, so uh, the first topic, guys, do you have, have you had access to the platform already? Yes. Yes. All right. Have you seen it? Yes. Were you able to check it? Yes, I checked that. All right. Thank yes. you, Claudia. Very good. Okay. Very good. And what about Exa? Did you check the platform already or you haven't had time to do it? No, I don't check. All right. Very good. Okay. That's fine. All right. So um, what we're going to be doing is I'm hoping that you guys can actually see the topic, like the previous, I mean, the topic that we're supposed to um, study on the morning. You can actually see it before we start so you can do it like 
either in the afternoon or the evening before the next class, all right? So you know what I'm talking about here, okay? But it's okay, uh, today we have to talk about passive voice, all right? What can you tell me or do you know or do you remember anything about passive voice? Any of you guys? When I say passive voice, what comes to your mind? Any well, ideas? In, uh -huh. in Spanish, I think that both passive, but I don't know right. the meaning. Of right, okay, all right, very good. Claudia, in your case, no? No, no, I don't. All right, very good. The passive voice, I guess we do it as well in Spanish, but the passive voice in English is another way to express the same idea, but in a different way. All right, passive voice, and you would see that on the video. All right, passive voice is the emphasis is different than on the active voice. Active voice is the way we speak normally. All right, I say I write a book. All right, that's active voice. But when I use passive voice is when I say the book was written by me. All right. So I change it a little bit, but the idea is the same. All right. I'm telling you that I wrote the book anyway. All right. So when we talk about passive voice, we talk about the doer of the action is not important. All right. I don't, I really don't, maybe I don't want to say who wrote the book. If I say I write the book, you understand that I did it. All right, if I say to you that the book is written or was written, I omit the doer. You don't know who wrote the book. Maybe it was Claudia, maybe it was me, maybe it was my sister, maybe it was someone else, all right? So we have to learn how to say the same thing in English in different ways, and that's what passive voice does to you, all right? I'm gonna show you a PowerPoint right now, a PowerPoint presentation, and uh, there are some questions. Let me see, or let us see if you guys know the answers. And if in one way or another, you knew what passive voice is. All right, so I'm gonna show it to you right now. All right, let's see. Um, it's this. Have you ever played this game before? Who wants to be a millionaire? Have you heard about that play? No. It's, it's a TV show. Wait, uh, hold on. Here. Have you played this game before? Uh, no. No? All right. Not in classes. I know you I never life. played. <laughs> All right. Very good. You've never played it. Claudia, have you? No. All see. right. Very good. But I think I've, you guys have seen it on TV, haven't you? Yes. 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 All right. So there are several. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, right, so there are several questions, well, actually many questions, and we can go on and on and on playing this, all right? In real life, you would get money, all right? But this is not real life, this is online classes, all right? So you're not gonna get any money right now, but you can get points and you can get satisfied that you got a right answer. So the question is, I mean, I'm gonna give you uh, four choices. You have to read them, and then you have to tell me which one is the correct answer, or which one is the correct sentence right depending on that depending on the difficulty of the question all right that's how much money you would get all right so let's see the first one then this one is question number one all right what is the correct sentence i want you to be reading the sentences claudia and Elsa. all right and tell me which sentence is correct for you Maybe letter C to mm -hmm. leave Smith by the science. Ah, all right, okay. What about Exa? What do you say? Uh, Why well, you see the passive voice could be C, but I think ah. that could be A too. All right, yes, all right, very good. Let's check it. Right, the scientist mixed two liquids. All right, he this one, Claudia, it looks quite okay because you're saying, okay, I'm. I can have it the other way around, but the meaning is not clear, all right? Two liquids mixed by the scientists, what happened to the verb be? When using the passive voice, we need to have the verb be in the simple past, all right? So that's missing here, all right, Claudia, you understand what I'm saying? 
So here we're discovering that we, when we make passive voice, we need to, uh, hold on, Is someone else. Hold on. We need to make sure that you are using the right structure here, all right? And in this case, we're not really using for letter C, we're missing the verb B here, all right? So that's what makes it different. All right, very good. Let's see the other one here. Hold on. Next one. So, uh, Exa, you got $100. All right, keep track of it, all right? Let's see who gets rich from this game. All right, let's see. Question two. Which of these is correct? Letter C. Letter C. All right. Claudia, what do you say? Uh, letter C. All right, very good. Also, you're gonna you guys are gonna share the, the, the money here. All right, now can you tell me why is the letter C correct? Because the verb B. Yeah, because of the verb B plus what? The very past. There. Ah, this one right here. Yes. You're referring to this one lifted? Yes. All right. It is not in past, it is in past participle. participle. All right, yeah, but then we're excellent. We're discovering that to make passive voice, all right, we need the verb be plus the past participle of the following verb. Okay, right? All right, let me see here. Do we have any yes in anybody in class? For some reason, I can't see. Can you guys see if someone there's? I'm just going to share for a second. It says we have nine participants in, but I just see you guys. Gabriela Reyes is hablando. Yes. Hi, Gabby. Hi, teacher. Okay, how come I cannot see you? Um, I don't have a camera. No, that's fine, but. Um, uh, the thing is, like, I don't have you here as a little square, you know, not even with your name or anything. Is there someone else here? Yes, it's Veronica, Carla Beatriz, Giovanni, yeah. Sinia. How come I cannot see anybody? Can you guys see? Claudia and Exa, can you guys see the rest of your classmates? Yes, yes but... Jesus, I don't know how... Camera. Oh, my goodness. I know, I know, but that's okay. Usually I get the little squares, you know. I just see the names and everything. All right, okay. All right, guys, I'm sorry I didn't see you coming in because for some reason I cannot see everybody here, but I have um, Gabriela, Giovanni, hi Giovanni, Juan Carlos, Carla, and Sydney, Elizabeth, and Veronica, right? Yes. All right, very good. Okay, so guys, I'm sorry. Uh, I do want to apologize. We're like playing this game. I think you already saw it. It's called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And we are discovering how to make sentences using passive voice, all right? I don't know if Gabby or anybody else wanna, wants to uh, tell me, what else do you know about passive voice besides what we've been talking about? Does anybody know or anybody has an idea what passive voice is? I understand. Uh, you explained the, the, passive, the passive voice. The passive voice. Is the best voice is when you read some book or mm -hmm. or I don't know. All right, yeah, the yeah, very good. That, that's fine. Very good. Who else? Is there anybody else has an idea what passive voice is, or if you listen to the explanation, the short explanation, actually. Uh, morning, teacher. Uh, I'm Carla. Um, well, I think that the passive boy. Um, well, I understand too that is the. Is the sentences uh, the sentence with uh, I show uh, the action, but not the the person who who um, did the action? Right. Who did the action? I don't know. Very good. Yes, very good. Very good. Thank you. Nice. Good morning, Brenda. All right. Anybody else? Thank you, Carla. All right, very good. So that's pretty much what it is. Passive voice, as I was telling uh, earlier, 
passive voice is a different way to say something in English, all right? And it can be done for any sentence that you want to, all right? For example, you say, I don't know, I, I can say Giovanni ate the cookies, all right? And then that's active voice, all right? Giovanni ate the cookies. Giovanni is the subject, ate is the verb, the cookies is the complement, all right? Now, if we switch it, all right, or if we switch it to passive voice, it would say the cookies were eaten by Giovanni. If we want to mention that Giovanni ate the cookies, if we don't want to mention who ate the cookies, it's okay. I just said, I, I can just say the cookies uh, were eaten, but I don't know by who, maybe by Giovanni, maybe by Sinia, maybe by Veronica, maybe by Claudia. I have no idea who ate the cookies, all right? Or I don't want to tell you who ate the cookies because either I don't know or I don't want to tell you, all right? So that's the difference between passive voice and active voice. And as we go on, you guys are going to see uh, more examples and then you're going to see uh, how the uh, passive voice sentences are structured, all right? So I'm going to keep on playing like, the game and then you guys can actually be telling me uh, what is the right answer and let's see how much money you guys can get, all right? Of um, online money. <laughs> All right, let's see. Question two. All right. Uh, ready, guys? Well, we did question two already, right? Oh, yeah, we were here. We were saying that the sentence or the right sentence was letter C. All right, the weight was lifted by the weight lifter. All right, so we have the verb B and we have lifted, which is in the past participle. All right. So you guys got uh, the, the $200, all right? So it's sum it up, all right? Keep on adding it, very good, no bad. Let's see who else. Question three, anybody can answer, remember that, okay? Read them guys and tell me. All right, anybody? Letter B. Okay, so as Manny said, I mean, Exa says the letter B. Anybody else? Carla, Gabby, Giovanni, mm -hmm. Claudia, Maybe. Veronica? Uh -huh. For me, letter C. Letter C, all right. Anybody else? Oh, no. no. Letter B. Letter B. It's, it's okay. Letter B, all right, okay. Yes. All right, anybody else with any other options? All right, so let's check it. All right, letter C was the correct answer. It's because of the verb uh, in past participle, torn, all right? You understand torn, you know what it is? I don't know, teacher. Um, oh. Well, I changed because I, <laughs> I think that tor was the the past participle uh, uh, of torn, and so I I don't know where is this. All this right, is so the, you switched it. Torn, for example, well, the verb, the original verb is tear, like romper, like when I I tear a paper. All right, the past participle is torn. All right, so that's that's why. All right, so it's very important to know our past participle verbs. All right, let's. Go. Very good. So you guys got 300. Ah, well, nobody got 300. All right, we, you were close to getting 300. All right, question four. We have 10 questions. Which is correct. Letter A. Letter A. All right, you say letter A. All right, who else? Letter A. Yeah? A. Okay, who else? Any other choices? Letter B. Letter B, all right. Okay. Letter A. Letter A? All right, yeah. Okay, let's check it. Very good. Bill was woken up by the alarm clock. If we take this one, all right, the meaning it's very weird. All right, who woke up? The alarm clock or Bill? 
All right, so it's very confusing on letter B, all right? Whereas in letter A, it says Bill was woken up by what? By the alarm clock. Who woke up? Bill or the alarm clock? Bill. Bill. Bill, Bill woke up, all right? Very good, Bill woke up, very nice. How much, guys? Wow, you got 500. All right, so you keep on adding money. You see how you start the morning here, becoming rich. Very good, question five. All right. Ideas? What means pain? So. Ah, can you see the picture? Can you see this little picture? Can you see it? It's the guy like like you're yes, sleeping. It's a... uh -huh, but you're uh -huh. not sleeping. It's because you like you're we're okay and then you like you mm -hmm. fall down and you kind of like sleep, you know. Like when you say this my yes. Ideas for this one? Or is it difficult? It's more money, so the difficulty increases. Letter D. Let it be. Letter D. Letter D or letter B. Is that what you're saying? B as in baby or D as in daddy? D. All right. Okay. Any other choices? Let it be. Mm, all right. One more. Letter C. Letter C. All right. Mm, okay. Are you ready to see the answer? Let's check the answer then. Andy fainted, all right? This one right here, although Andy fainted by illness. One, you don't have the verb be, all right? So it doesn't make any sense here. Plus, this one is not in the past participle, all right? So it's kind of weird, all right? And this one, Andy was fainted. Does it make any like sense? You're using these two verbs together, but it doesn't make any sense because of the type of verb. And we're gonna see that later, all right? Very good. Let's see how much you got. Wow, you got $1,000. So you see, I told you that was more difficult. All right, let's see this one. Question six, we have four more to go. Remember, we have 10 questions. All right. Any ideas? Letter A. Letter A, the boxer in red knocked out, okay. Any other choices? Any other choices or you guys are going to lose the money? Uh-huh. Is it a D? D, the box in red was knocked out. Okay. One more. One more? No? You don't wanna risk it? You would lose the money though, if you would risk it. All right, let's check the right answer. The boxer in red was knocked out, all right? Here, the first one, it doesn't make sense because we're not using the verb be. And remember, when we talk about passive voice, we need to use the verb be plus the past participle of the following verb as long as it can be used, all right? $2,000, oh my goodness, very good, congratulations, very good. Question seven. Choose the correct one, all right. Three more to go, guys, all right. A. 
A. Get a B. All right, some, some say A, some say B. Uh -huh. One more. Let it be. Let it be. All right. Okay. Anybody else? Let her see. David was through up in the bathroom. Okay. All right. Ready? For the people that say A, B, or C, keep track of it. All right. Very good. David threw up in the bathroom. All right. It's because of the type of verbs that we can sometimes we cannot use. There are some verbs that we cannot really use uh, when we're talking about passive voice, all right? But in this case, David threw up in the bathroom is active voice, all right? So here we're playing with these two voices, active or passive, depending if you can make it or not in passive voice. Let's see, wow, that was $4,000, all right, very good. Let's see, two more. We're almost done here, so I can go on with the explanation, all right? A. A. All right. A. Okay. A. Someone else? B. B. Okay. One more, one more choice, one more person. Letter A. A. All right. What is the past participle, guys, of the verb throw? Anybody know what the past participle of the verb throw is? Through? Through is the simple <laughs> past. <laughs> through is simple past. So what is, uh, what would be the past participle? Throw. Thrown, very good. So the ball was thrown by the player. Very good, it was letter B, all right? Because of the past participle, very good. How much did you get? Someone got $8,000. Wow, that's amazing. Very good. All right, question nine. Look at this one. If you, In case you have Twitter, you should relate to this. Uh-huh. What do you guys say? A, B, C, or D? Letter B. Okay. Someone else? Letter D. D, okay. One more. C. C, okay. All right. All right, let's see. If we choose letter C, I am followed by Twitter, that means that Twitter is following you. All right, so I don't think you wanna say that. Letter D, I always follow Twitter. That means that you're always like keep track of your Twitter messages, all right? And that's not what okay. we wanna say. So letter B, I'm followed by 100 people on Twitter means that people like whatever you say and they tweet on your Twitter and you have 100 people following you on Twitter. All right, so I am followed by 100 people on Twitter. Wow, that was a lot of money for that one. All right, and the very last one. Let's see the very last sentence. D. D, all right, thank you. Someone else? D. D, all right. D. D, all right, yeah, very good. Let's see how much money you got, guys, very good. The doorbell was rung by Bob, right? Because you're talking about a doorbell, and look at the picture, who's ringing the doorbell? Bob was, all right? So here, 
you go three thousand three thousand thirty two thousand dollars isn't that a lot of money here you guys should stop to work for a little bit all right because you got that much money all right very good so now guys now that we have seen these sentences okay i want to go on showing you this the explanation of it can someone read this for me i need someone i don't know someone that wants to read the explanation for me Okay. Passive voice. In the passive form, the team receive, receiving receiving the action is the subject of the sentence, and the team doing the action is optionally include at, at the end of the sentence. We use the passive form to say what happens to the subject. Thank you, Claudia. Very good. All right. So here, guys, this is a brief explanation, which is the same explanation that is on the video. All right. It says in the passive form, the thing receiving the action is the subject of the sentence. All right. Remember that on active voice to say, I play football. All right. I is the subject. Okay. But in this case, the I, the subject will receive the action. All right. So, uh, and the doing of the action, uh, and the doing of the action is optionally including at the end of the sentence, all right? So if you notice here, the thing receiving the action plus B, plus past participle, plus by, if you want to, because this is optional, all right? You can say it or you can omit it and it's okay. And then the thing doing the action or the agent or the doer of the action, all right? So here we have the students are taught by the professor, all right? So here the students are receiving the action, all right? And the one doing the action is the professor, all right? So you can say the students are taught by whom? By the professor, by the doctor, by the engineer, by the architect, by who? By their mother, all right? So you don't know that, you can omit who does the action, all right? So the doer of the action, it's not important. This is passive voice. This is how we form it, all right? Now, if you notice here, we're using are and not was, where? Because this passive voice sentence is in simple present. Passive voice, have it, it has tenses. It has simple present, it has simple past, it has future, all right? So right now, we're supposed to study Passive voice, simple past, all right? And I'm going to show you how we do it. I'm just going to move it here. All right, use of passive form. Someone else to read this for me. Can someone else read this one? Me. Okay. Use of passive form. We use the passive form of bear when it is not important who does the action or when we don't know who does it. Does it. The letter was delivered at 9 a.m. The identity of the person who delivered the letter is no or unimportant. The thief was arrested yesterday. It is obvious that he was arrested by the police. Thank you. All right. So here, either you don't know who did the action, or either it is obvious who did the action, or you don't want to say who did the action. All right. In the first example, it says the letter was delivered at 9. The identity of who delivered the letter, we don't know, or it's not important, okay? And the second example, the thief was arrested yesterday. Who can arrest people? The police, all right? So it's obvious who arrested the thief or the, the burglar, all right? So in those cases, we can omit the doer of the action, all right? Here, can someone else read this for me? Yeah, me teacher yes thank you <clears throat> if we want to say who does the action we use by the letter was delivered by the pa the postmark uh, if we want to say the material the material or the instrument somebody used to do the action we use with he we he was stabbed stabbed with a knife Mm -hmm. uh, the cake was made with oranges. Excellent. All right. So right now, I, I have this for you here so you know. But the one that we need to understand is this one, the first one. 
If you guys want to say who did the action, we do it by simply adding the word by. All right. So the class was taught by Jessica. All right. Or uh, the exercise was done by Carla. All right. Or I say the, I don't know, the cake was baked by my mother. All right. So whenever you want to say who did the action, all right, you need to add the word by at the end of your sentence. Okay. All right. This is pretty much how you do it. Changing from active to passive. All right. Who wants to read this example? Someone that has not read yet, please. Someone to help me read this, please? Me. Thank you. Uh, changing from active to passive. Mm -hmm. The Egyptian, Egyptians. Egyptians, yes. Egyptians by the Egyptians. Uh, the pyramids, the pyramids. Mm -hmm. And built, were built. All right, okay, very good, thank you. All right, so here we have the first example, guys, is active voice. And the Egyptians built the pyramids. All right, so we have Egyptians is the subject, built is the verb, and the pyramids is the complement or the object of it, all right? Now, this um, active voice sentence, what tense is it on? Is it in simple present, simple past, future? The first one, the Egyptians built the pyramids. What, which tense is, uh, is that sentence written on? In which tense? In past. In simple past, very good, okay. How do you know? Because we have built, and built is simple past, okay? And plus, they are not making pyramids right now, okay? So we know that this is in simple past. So what you do, as that she was reading, you switch everything. The Egyptians, from the, from the active voice, uh, changes to the doer of the action, Built remains the same, in the same position, but you need to include the, the verb be, all right? And because you're talking about pyramids, which is plural, it has to become were, all right? So the pyramids become not the doer, well, they become the first part of, they become the subject of the sentence now. The pyramids were built by whom? By the Egyptians, all right? So you know that now here you have a uh, passive voice, simple past. How do you make it? By using the past of the verb be plus the past participle of the verb. All right. It's a coincidence that built is the same in both tenses, in simple past or in both forms, in simple past and in past participle. All right. Do you guys understand how to make pat from active to passive voice? Do you guys have any questions? No? No questions? Is it clear? All right, I'm gonna keep on showing you and then, yeah, okay. And then I'm gonna, uh, we'll have an exercise here. All right, here's the same thing. Someone to read the first example for me here, please. The police officer arrested by the bur burglar. The burglar, yes. The police officer arrested the burglar. Do you know what burglar is? No. Thief. Do you understand thief? Like ladron. Okay. So you can say burglar or you can say thief and it's the same person. All right. Okay. Or robber also. So the police officer arrested the burglar. This sentence, guys, what tense is it on? Simple past. Simple past. How do you know, Claudia? For the verb. Arrested, person. yes, for this verb. Now, then you have to switch it. How many burglars? How many burglar is here? One. One, very good. So the burglar 
was because there's only one verb. Mm. So the verb be will depend on this one, on the new subject. If you have singular, then you're going to use was. If you have plural, you're going to use were. All right? And then the rest of the sentence. The burglar was arrested by whom? By the police officer that becomes the agent or the doer of the action. Okay? All right. Here we have exercises. Okay? This is what I want you to do. Can you please take a picture of these guys or a screenshot so I can send you to your groups and you can work together? There are two, only two pictures, so we're going to take a picture of this. Finished? All right, and then, oops, and this one. Okay, got it? Very good. I'm going to stop sharing right now. And I'm Teacher, gonna, oh, I, sorry. I, I, don't, I don't capture the first Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here we go. Hold on. This one. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Very good. Everybody else got it? Yes? Picture one and picture two? Yes. Excellent. Yes. All right. Very good. Good. Excellent. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. You guys are going to, when you see the pictures of your um, exercises, what I want you to do is with the information that you have on top, which is active voice, switch it to passive voice. Let's see how it works, okay? So I'm gonna send you right now to your breakout rooms. For some reason. Oh, all right, found it. How many we have? We have, all right, five groups. All right, okay guys, I'm opening up the groups right now so you can work for like a couple of minutes, all right? And then we're coming back and check them, okay? There you go, sorry, there you go. Carla and Brenda, can you hear me? Carla? Hi, Carla. Brenda? Hi, teacher. Hi, are you by yourself, Brenda? Are you by yourself right now? Or is Carla with you? I understand, teacher. Está solita ahorita, Brenda. O está Carla en el grupo con usted? Acá veo a Carla. ¿Y le escucha? A Carla veo. Mm, creo que tiene problemas con el uh -huh. audio. All right. Okay. Uh, Brenda, ¿quiere que la mueva? O la Sorry, teacher. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Uh, All right. No, okay. So, yes. Carla and Brenda, you're working together, okay? Uh, teacher, uh, I I say goodbye to my husband every day because he <laughs> okay. was to the and I <laughs> well. That's okay, Carla. That's for a minute. Sorry, sorry, no, Brenda. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. You can work together. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. Hola, Carlita. Hi. Uh, Hi. Well, um, I. Bye. Bye, Clyde. 
You guys are doing okay, Claudia and Exa? Hi, teacher. You're doing Hi, okay? Teacher. You're doing okay? okay. Everything okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Thank you. All right. Let me know if anything, okay? Okay. 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 The light. Hi, Maria. Hi. How are Hi. you guys doing? Hi. Senia, is that how you, that's how you pronounce your name? Si, yes. Senia, all right, very good. Are you girls doing okay? Um, uh, we, we, we work, but Senia is common, in common to work. Yes. Oh, oh, okay, okay, that's fine. That's okay, I understand. Okay, entonces, ella no puede ver ahorita. Okay. But you're helping her, right? I'm going to try. Okay, very good. <laughs> try, I mean, try to do it as much as possible, okay? It's okay. Thank you. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Hi, Giovanni. Hi, Gabby. Teacher, yes. I have a uh, with the second uh, because it's a question. Yes. Uh, uh, I don't know. You you see two two and uh, no termina. Uh -huh. No, no termina. Uh, but did light bulb uh, was invented by Thomas Edison in? 1879. All right, you need to use the verb be, not did anymore, Gabby. Ah. Right, so at the beginning of your question, you have to say was. Ah, okay. Right? Uh huh. Okay. Because it's a question, right? Uh huh. Okay. Jova, the first did no, you use was. Right. Uh huh. Was liable. Right, uh, very invent, good. Invent, uh invent. -huh. Thomas Edison. Um, um, no, by, by Thomas Edison. Very good. Yeah, but you also remember that you also need the past participle of the verb in event. Uh, okay. Right. Mm, Invented. That's right, Gabby. Very good. Yes. Very good, Giovanni. Invented. Yes. Was the light bulb invented by Thomas Edison in 1879? In... Mm -hmm. No. No. Um, um, uh huh. Invented by Thomas Edison in 19... In, no, 18, 18, in It's not that difficult, is it? <laughs> a little bit. A little. Little, a little teacher. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, and the next cycle. The two. Okay, the third. Clyde mm -hmm. Tomba discovered Pluto. Bye. Entonces, uh, Giovanni and Gabby, I'm going to check another group in case you have okay. questions, you let me know, okay? Okay, okay. Hey, thank, thank you, you. Teacher. Thank you. No, no, Jova. First is the subject, entonces es Pluto. Pluto. Ajá. Okay, and the best. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, hello. do you need help? Or you're doing okay? I don't know, teacher, the second sentence. For, for number two, did Thomas Edison invent the light bulb in 1879? Yes. All right, mm. remember that it's a question, all right? So now you don't need to use did, you need to use the past of the verb be. Uh, was. Was. Right, was. And... Thomas Edison right. was invented the light bill in 1879. 
Girls, who invented what? Thomas Edison invented the light bulb or the light bulb invented Thomas Edison? Thomas Edison invented the light. Right, okay. So now do the switching. Once it's okay. All right, now the action. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The light bulb? Was the light was. bulb, uh huh. Once it's at the beginning because it's a question. Ah, okay. Right? Was the light bulb? Excellent. Oh. And then you need the past participle of the verb invent. Invent. Inventive. Inventing. Mm -hmm. Inventing by Thomas Edison. Right. In 1879. That's right. Very good, girls. Yes. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, Blanquitna, maybe write in the chat the answer. Okay, was the libel, libel, libel. Inventive by Thomas Edison in 1879. Excellent. And the question mark, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. And number three, like Tomba discovered Pluto in 1930. Pluto was discovered in 19, no, by Clyde Tombaugh, but in 1930. Yes, Blanquita. Uh, Clyde. Oh. Tomba discover Pluto. Um, Tomba. Uh, eh, I don't know. Do you need Clyde. help for that one? Girls, do you need help for that one? Yes. Pluto was discovered by Clay Zombo in 1930. That's right, yes. Pluto was discovered, yes. Pluto, right. Okay, thanks. Blanquita, are you... Pluto was discovered by Clyde Tomba. Clyde. 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 In 1930. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Number four, the Chinese first. Use paper money over uh, 2,000 years ago. Use paper money Paper money. For me, the object is paper money. That's right. The Chinese food. Mm. Maybe paper money was used. Um. Mm. 
papers use? Was used thousand years ago. I know. Is it difficult for you? Yes. But you're doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember the switching, the cross, all right? Paper money is at the end. So now you put it here at the beginning. Paper money. Then you can say was, because it's money in general, it's uncountable. Was used by whom? By the Chinese. When? Over a thousand years ago. Okay. Mix the the eliminate with the the, the first. Mm -hmm. The iPad. Okay, number five. Steve Jobs didn't introduce the iPad in 1986. Steve Jobs didn't. First, didn't. The, the object. First, is the object. Uh huh. The iPad. That's right. Now it's negative. Wasn't. Excellent. Wasn't introduced. Excellent. By Steve Jobs in 1986. Perfect. Very good. Good. All right, we're going to go back, girls, because I understand that you need to leave exactly at 7.30, okay? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Claudia and uh, Nexa, did you finish? Were you able to finish all the sentences? Yes. All right, cool, yes. nice. All right, what about the rest of you guys? Carla, Gabby, Giovanni? No, teacher. That's okay. Blanca, no. Brenda? Uh, we didn't, teacher. All right, that's okay. All right, well, I'm going to just show you quickly because I understand you need to leave at exactly 7.30. This one right here. All right, can you guys see this one, the first one? Here, can you guys see it? Yes. All right, yes. so number two, because number one's already done for you, is a question, all right? But it's the same treatment. So you have to say, was the light bulb invented by Thomas Edison in 1879? All right, not did, because you're switching it to passive voice. Was the light bulb invented by Thomas Edison in 1879? Number three, Pluto or Pluto was discovered by Clyde Tombaugh in 1930. Was Pluto discovered? I mean, I'm sorry, Pluto was, it's not a question. Pluto was discovered by Clyde in 1930. All right, number four. A paper money was used by uh, by the Chinese over was first used uh, by the Chinese over a thousand years ago. All right, paper money was first used. Very good. And number five, the iPad was not because it's negative. Introduced by Steve Jobs in 1986. All right. So those would be numbers two, three, four, and five. I'm going to stop sharing this right now. I know it might be a little difficult for you, but tomorrow we'll keep on practicing, okay? Ne like affirmative sentences, negatives, and questions. Thank you so much, guys, for being in class today. All right? And, well, it didn't rain, so hopefully you won't stop classes. All right? So I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Have a great day, guys. <laughs> Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye teacher. teacher. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Have a great day at work. <laughs>